haven't managed to get another view, unfortunately, but we have found him and he is eating. And I cannot believe how trusting this little leopard is because we drove around very, very close to where he is. I'm gonna try. This is astounding. This is utterly, utterly astounding. He's over there. Gosh, little Vutomi, and he's eating something. He's found something to eat. And we found him by a combination of listening and smell. Here he is. That's him at the bottom, yeah. This is, I can see spots there. Okay. I'm going to turn around. We'll get a, get a better view. We've got him now. Sure. This, and it's a combination of different methods. One is democratically. Um, the people that see the leopards will put forward two suggestions and it's voted on which ones are the best. There is usually a preference giving to the guides that know those leopards the best. So for example with Shungile and Hosanna, that preference was given to Taxon and Aubrey because they were from their property. With Futomi, Shanae, because she knew him the best. Hey little one, which means life by the way, because there was a long time that it was presumed that he hadn't made it. Okay, let's get ourselves turned around. I think he's going back to the pan which is marvelous for us, because it's a bit tricky in here. Goodness gracious. I haven't even called him in yet because I wasn't sure we were gonna keep him. Now, Macy, you want to know if this grass is always this high or if it dies during the winter months. Yes, it, it completely disappears during the winter months. You're usually left with very little grass, often sometimes dry sand, and I'm sorry, I have to concentrate really hard now just to make sure that we don't break the car, essentially. So, yes, the grass disappears. Yes, this is our hardest time of year for searching for leopards, for finding leopards, for finding a lot of things, actually, just because it is so very thick. But sometimes we get lucky. Hey, little boy. Oh, sorry, I actually didn't finish answering the names question. The other way that it is sometimes decided is by the guide who first found them as cubs, found the den site. He's gonna go straight into that beautiful place where we last got surprised by quarantine. How amazing is that? There's one other way that leopards are named, and that is by essentially, look, he's looking for terrapins. Here he goes, he's stalking forward. I'm not gonna reposition now, I don't wanna mess anything up for him. This little leopard needs all the chances he can get. I don't know what he's after, it's probably a terrapin. He is the master though. Tenya is the third way that leopards are named. Who's been working for a long time in a certain lodge and so on. Who deserves the honor of naming one of these little leopards? There's a fourth way, and that is by popular vote of a large Nat Geo Wild audience, as was done with Futomi. So our Safari Live viewers got to name Tumba. Sorry, with Tundi's cub Tumba was named by popular vote. Wonder what he's after. Okay, we can do some shuffling around now while he's stopped and while he's settled. If he starts to stalk again, then we will immediately switch off. But with terrapins, it's a slightly different process. It's not like he's hunting a scrub hare or an impala. Lana, lovely to hear from you again. Have we got time to do this? Yeah, we do. Ilana, you want to know what language the leopard's names are? Ilana, of course, is a very familiar name. She's a regular viewer of Safari Live. Ilana, most of them are in Shitsonga, so the Shangan language. Sometimes they are in Zulu. Here we 
go, mister. Let's wait and see what you do. Sometimes they're in Zulu, sometimes they're in English, as was the case with Anderson. Sometimes they're named after the area that they're in. So, oh, there's a whole load of terrapin heads sticking out of the water that he's looking at. Terrapins are what's kept him alive. While his mom's been away. He's survived off eating terrapins just like little Shungile has. They share a very similar story in a way, these two. Both have had to face survival and both have turned to terrapins. There the head's sticking up. And one thing Vutomi's learned very well is the value of patience. And that's what he's going to do now. Now there's something that I haven't done, and this has shared the sighting with the other guides around me. So you'll have to just forgive me while I do that. You can look at the beautiful leopard while I do. The stations, if you copy me, I've got Vutomi at three in a row pan, static for now. And if I could ask Taylor a huge favour through Megan, or James, whoever happens to be closest to their game drive radio, if they could call it in as well, at three in a row pan. Yeah, A firm. <laughs> Copy, he came as a bit of a surprise. Oh, you're welcome, Ali. It's just myself. Sorry, everybody. Just chatting to the other guides. Shanae and I are just discussing the astounding distance that little Vutomi has walked today. Keeping us all guessing, aren't you, mister? That's the way leopards do it. The ghosts of the bush. He went in the opposite direction last time Shanae saw him. Perfectly poised. For all the world it looks as though he's just sitting and contemplating. Perhaps thinking about life. But what he's really doing is waiting for the opportunity for a terrapin to become his next meal. Oh, there we go. See? The moment's here. We know he's good at it. So clever, you know. He's spotted a pair of terrapin that have got close to the edge of the water, but we'll stay on him for now. Ah, oh, they've just moved away again. And he's going to lie down on his belly and settle there patiently and wait for the next opportunity. Oh, Megan, I'm sorry. I wasn't actually listening to your question at all. Sorry. My mind glossed over it. Oh, there we go. Mario, you would like to know if Vutomi is older than Hosanna. He is. Now, let me just try and work out by how much. Maybe those of you can help me out with that. I think he's about two, three months older than, well, two and a half months older than Hosanna. Am I correct in that? He must be, in theory, close to a year and a half. Oh, wow, okay, four months older than Hosanna. I doubted myself on that because he is so very, very small when compared to Hosanna. He's about the size Hosanna was at around about 10 months old. A fact that Brent argued with me repeatedly. What is going on? I'm s distracted. Okay, no, he's hunting. We'll stay on him. I'll explain while I was why I was distracted in a moment. Here he goes. Is there another opportunity? What has he seen? Look at that. That perfect leopard core, belly to the ground. Here he goes. You'll just see the odd... Here he goes again. You'll see the odd ripple. 
of the terrapins as they move closer to the side of the water. Now, it's a difficult time of day, this, because it's not really warm enough for the terrapins to want to come out to bask. But they might decide to come out, or just closer to the surface of the water. He's not like Hosanna, he doesn't go diving in necessarily. Or unnecessarily, should I say. Ali, I agree. Isn't he looking stunning? Butomi is looking really, truly beautiful. I think he is a really, truly beautiful leopard. But th then I haven't merely met that many leopards that I've turned around and said, what an ugly leopard. There he goes. Ah, in the water. And he's got it. Well done, little chap. Now comes the hard part. That was expertly done. And there he goes, off to find a nice bush to crunch into his terrapin. He's going to go and do what leopards do, which is find somewhere comfortable to go and eat his prize. And I'm just going to let him decide where he wants to do that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be nice and close to us. I didn't want him to feel as though we were in any way going to go and steal his terrapin, because in his mind, we could. In my mind, there could not be anything further from it. Well done, Butomi. Well done. Okay, so now he's in the long grass. I want to stick with this view for now, just because I want to just gauge his mood and his reaction to us around his kill. I've found that with Shungile, um, since Karula hasn't been around, She's just felt that need for a little bit more personal space, especially with her kills. And Vutomi I found to be the same as well. So his spots are just there. I just want to gauge his reaction. Sit here for a sec, let make it clear to him that we're not going in there to steal his kill. I think we're okay, let's reposition and let us think this through. Seb, if you see a good view, just shout, otherwise I'm going to go all the way around. No, I'm going to have to go all the way around. Watch him crunch open his terrapin dinner. His tantalizing terrapin dinner. Could we call it that? Probably not. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Ali's just joined us in the sighting. Ali is currently guiding for Chitwa. And I'm going to try and get her a good view of this as well. And there we go. We can just see the tops of his head. I'm sure he's going to come back out again. Just eating his terrapin. <laughs> so, uh, the reason I was distracted earlier, by the way, was there was this very low circling helicopter. And I just wanted to make sure that we weren't in the way of an official operation. It could have been a, a darting, anything like that. So I just wanted to make sure we weren't in their way. So that was the reason for my distraction. But we're back focused once again on Butomi and his dinner.